calling the meeting to order at uh, 333. This is uh, Jefferson County Public Hospital District Number 2, Board of Commissioners meeting. And Bueller is excused. And uh, um, could I ask you what is in front of you? Are you recording this meeting? Yeah, I'm making an audio recording of this meeting as a, to help me remember what has happened. Um, actually, that sounds like a good opening for a discussion about doing something like that. Uh, with the, one of the concerns with the Open Public Meetings Act, as it is being recorded, and the public hospital district is, um, is responsible for safekeeping and so it can all be accessed, maybe this is something that uh, you want to <coughs> step in at a particular time. That yeah, um, I, I think that. I believe there was going to be a discussion at tonight's meeting about recording um, board meetings, which I think is a, a reasonable thing to discuss. Uh, there are implications associated with recording board meetings. Uh, that uh, recording become part of the record and is um, uh, also part of the Open Public Meeting Act and Records Act. So um, a recording provided by a hospital, a hospital recording for the purpose of uh, uh, records has to be um, disclosed when requested. And any recording by a board member, uh, according to council, would, would be considered that official record. Mm -hmm. So um, I think what the discussion tonight was, was gonna go along the lines of of discussing it at the board level, and then if the board is interested um, in pursuing that uh, to direct administration to develop a policy, uh, a procedure, and um, uh, uh, a methodology to make sure that we do it correctly, we it's in line with our Record Retention Act and Open Public Meeting Response um, team, and we do it right. Uh, and uh, so I think the recommendation from council is that absent of the hospital doing it, that a, uh, a board member should not. Well, based on my research, I don't think that's accurate. I mean, this is a public meeting. Citizens have a certain right to record these meetings. I don't surrender that right because I'm a commissioner, just like we each have the right to vote you know, we have, we have certain rights, the right to breathe, have the right to take notes. I don't think it's, I would disagree with that assessment of what is, um, what is legal, or that this constitutes a, a board act. This is a, an act as a private citizen. Well, it, it might be an act of a private citizen, but because of your, because you are a board member, just like the notes you take mm -hmm. at a board meeting, they are, they are subject to the Open Public sure. Record Act. So that any tape that you re record is also subject to that act. So it becomes part of the record. And it's the recommendation from council looking after the interests of the organization that if um, uh, Jefferson Healthcare begins to record our meetings, that it, that it be done um, through administration uh, mm -hmm. so that we have the tape, we have the record, um, we can uh, properly store it, and we can respond to any open public meeting requests that that may come down the pipe, because it's a big thing. Um, it, uh, some hospitals uh, do indeed record their, their meetings, and it adds another layer of complexity to, to responding to open public record requests. So I think the ask, um, uh, or I think the discussion with the rest of the board is, is this something that we want to pursue? And then, and then secondly, if we, if we are going to do it, uh, to do it right. And council, I don't think anyone is suggesting as an individual um, citizen, you don't have the right to uh, make the recording, but as a board member, council for Jefferson Healthcare is recommending you don't. In, in the interest of the, of the organization and, and all of the implications. The, is the council recommending we not record meetings? That um, in, until we have a policy and a procedure to make sure we can 
manage that recording in compliance with the uh, Open Public Record Act mm -hmm. um, that, uh, that we don't do it because it's discretionary. Uh, organizations uh, don't have to do it. And further, what I think was going to happen, Matt, was that there was going to be a discussion with the other members of the board um, to decide if that indeed is the direction that they were going to give administration. Well, I appreciate the recommendation of council. I, but I'm going to continue recording the meeting. I think it's, I think it's a perfectly appropriate decision. I would completely support the board um, if we wanted to officially do it, and I'm happy to give. Um, if you feel like you need a copy and you to store for seven years, I'm happy to provide that. Well, it's not like I feel like it that it, the, the law would require it. And the recommendation from council is that if if a, um, a recording is made on behalf of the organization, and as a commissioner, you would be making it on behalf of the organization, that we have our own recording. So I will recess this board meeting at uh, 3.39 to see if we can locate recording, um, okay. some recording device, and if not, we will just have to um, okay. schedule a special meeting. All right. Thank you. So. So, just so you know. I'm recording it. Let me not. Well, it's not our policy, is it? Wait, is this an official meeting? It's is an official board, board meeting, but our policy states that we record when we're in our normal board situation, board meeting room at the hospital. Well, there's nothing that prohibits Matt from recording it. So yes, there is. It makes it official record. It should be an official record if it's an official meeting. Well, there's a, there is a legal opinion that uh, recommends to not do this, yep. actually. But we talked about that. And you're right. I guess that's before my time. So. Yeah. Yep. So, so is it? we're just not being difficult. You still recording? I am recording the meeting. Okay. Now. We'll see you guys later. Let me know who turns it off. Sorry, my stress level is very high right now, so it's hard for me to speak. Probably I did not expect a, a massive conflict over this again. I didn't think you guys would be surprised. I recorded last year's meeting, if you recall. So I have told you before. I cannot actually remember everything that is said at these meetings, and it's important to me that uh, we take what we say here seriously and that we're held accountable for what we say here. And the only way to do that is to have an accurate record of these meetings. And so I record the meetings. I think the point is that being a commissioner, it is different than a member of the public recording the meeting and we have no official recording device here, so we can't record it and have it be an actual official recording, and that's, that's a difference, but I think we need 
to either adjourn or conclude or um, continue. Uh, could, could I have point, a well, point of order that we do have a policy, I believe, which says that we uh, make official recordings when we are in our official board setting in the hospital. And I believe you're aware of that. So I do take exception to the recording. We have nothing to hide, but I think that it, it is not something that, uh, uh, you know, if we, if we have these policies, and you're, uh, and rightly so, very keen on following policies, and, and then you go, you yourself, go and break one. So I don't, I don't see what this is all about. I think it's just a, a barrier to, to trying to work for our patients, for our community, personally. Um, I obviously haven't been involved in this kind of discussion before, so I'm, as the new kid on the block, if you wouldn't mind. Um, first of all, the policies that we just revised, did those, I, I guess I must not have read that section carefully enough. Does it say that we only record in official meetings, or does it say that we record in official meetings? I mean, I, I'm, I'm wondering, do the policies also say that we don't in this kind of setting? I mean, I, I'm just, and again, this is just a point of clarification. I, I don't the point have... of clarification is that when we go, for example, to the legislature, sure. um, we did not want to be bound to record what the legislators were saying because they may not, they may, they may not feel free to speak. Sure. So for that, you know, reason and for because it's a it can be a logistics nightmare um, to have it in where we don't have control of the of the venue. Um, we voted and Matt voted for that as well uh, to not record anything other than the meetings that were that are held in our normal venue. Because in, in that case, I, I would need to just check to see because well, there's a you difference can check between. Well, you had the board no, book because it's. No, in no, no I, I'm just saying to me it's important whether the whether the policy says that we will only record under certain situations or that we will record under certain situations. But if there's no prohibition, it says I we can do not. If, if we I do could, not, if we're outside of the if, hospital, we do not if, because if we are I legally could, responsible. As a finish, secretary, I'm legally responsible for ensuring that we have the official copy open for the public records. And that is what the, our attorney has said. And we, we, because it's very, as Jill has just said, we, we have difficulty, we don't, we haven't got recording equipment, we can't inflict this on other people like in the previous board meeting. Um, then, uh, so it was decided that we, we would only record when we're at our board meetings in our home base. And this is not our home base. Maybe we'd like it to be, but it's not. So, as, so therefore, this leaves the hospital district open to uh, prosecution and fines because of our inability to have an official recording which is archived for the benefit of the community. Although my question wasn't well, I'm just answered, I appreciate your well, clarifying. Well, there's no prohibition. I mean, any, any, anybody could record anything. Sure, it's sure. just the council said that that you either, you have, if you're going to vote to record board meetings, because well, many boards don't, when it doesn't record their board sure, meetings, sure. that you do it in a way that's um, controlled by the organization um, with, your, with your equipment and your system, mm -hmm. which is why we have Susie do what she does. Sure. Because it becomes the official public record mm -hmm. sure. and recommended against um, a board member recording um, and uh, because that is something other than the public record. And, and that's, we're trying to go by what our attorney has told us. This is, you know. Uh, because that's other than a public record, but if an individual commissioner records, then because of the open 
Public Records Act, uh, that recording does become a an official recording. I, I guess I'm trying. Yeah, to... the law doesn't the law doesn't distinguish you from a a, a community member and a board member. Right. That you might be thinking you might be thinking you're recording this as a community member, but the law you recording as a board member. Right. In that capacity, so there, therefore, it's, it's subject, subject to the so therefore, Record Act. What Matt records is quote discoverable through yes. public records. Not only discoverable, but we have an obligation to, to comply with. I'm sorry. Yes. We have an obligation to um, record it. To to make it. I'm sorry. You have an obligation to because uh, it is an official public record that the public entity isn't the steward of. So that is that is and if, the problem the attorney points out you want to avoid. And if, well, if I'd, something I'd, happened... I'd, 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 appreciate, I'd love to get some more information and, and maybe uh, maybe it was shared with it's the other... It's too bad other. you didn't study this beforehand. Okay. May I finish speaking, please? Oh, please. Um, I would love to, I'd, I'd love to see the, the letter from the attorney that describes that, just so that I can understand it. And I, I don't... I Maybe you can get the same that. attorney that told you about conclude. Madam Chairman, I'd like to make a motion that we forbid uh, Commissioner Reddy from recording this meeting. I'm well, I It's so moved that. Is there a second? explain that again that the reason for this is that if a particular board member has what is considered an official document and something happens to that document that is in his or her possession and it is not the actual official document even though it still is discoverable um, we have no way to refute or if, if somebody did something with that or took something out of context, mm -hmm. we would have no way to verify or validate. Um, Great. Well, I, I, I appreciate your clarification of that. And if, if I might, um, Matt, would you be willing to um, not record the session here today? And um, I'd love to study the situation further and maybe you and I can speak some other time about the importance or relevance of recording and then uh, cover it at that point. Uh, no. I, I'm recording the meeting. Uh, if it is a a record for the hospital, we can do the exact same thing we did with all the other recordings I made. I just put it in the same directory on the hospital server with all the other recordings. I do not understand the uh, the resistance everyone in the room has to recording our public meeting like we do every one of them. With, with recording, we have the problem with recording it in the appropriate manner so it complies with the Open Public Records Act, so it complies with the Washington State archival requirements for maintaining public documents. Mari, as secretary of this board, is responsible for the maintenance and archiving of all official records of this board. Because you are acting as a commissioner, because you're recording it, that makes it a quasi-official recording of the board, which means it falls under all these requirements. That is what I have the problem with. And, and all those requirements are met by the hospital just having a copy of the recording? No, by having the original. Well, there is no original. It's a digital, there's no original digital. It's copied. The minute it's copied to the server off our, the recording device, it's not an original. It's a, it's a digital image. What? But it's council's recommendation. I, I think that. Well, I think you, you said in that, that discussion that the best best practice 
is is that the, this this is to be avoided. This is this is not best practice. Um, and, and it, it, that was that was the recommendation, and I think that's what we are applying or trying to adhere to. Yes. Um, would it make a difference if this digital recording were made available to the secretary right at this time? I mean, would that, I mean, I, again, I'm, I'm exploring for some pie-in-the-sky compromise, and I'm, I'm trying to see if there's some way to bridge the gap um, with that. And, and I don't know if Matt would be willing to relinquish his digital recorder to uh, the secretary, but would that make a difference in the situation or, or, or not? What we have here is one commissioner who refuses to yield to the will of the board, that refuses to from adhere to the recommendations of the attorney of this district. I from a policy. And to adhere to the state. Could I ask for an answer to my question if it would make a difference to the rest of the commissioners if the digital recording were made immediately available so that, I mean, I, I can appreciate that that's not it does the not way because you not, understand not the policy. Because it does not follow Case, um, I would like to make a motion to conclude. A second. Second. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Mike, I apologize for this happening. I That's right. a program to present. I'm just going to kind of point out the obvious that. That there are issues here. Uh, have we? Con I'll turn it off if we have officially concluded. Yes. Okay. This is the last time we had a retreat, we had an agreement, but then, you know. But the that agreement is, has been recorded. Correct. Right. But it's on. It's on record. But still, um, you know. So we could add something, um, maybe the add between the second and the third paragraph that says something to the degree of um, that the board should follow a, a general practice of not responding to individual public comments at the time they are made. The board chair will have the. Yeah, I think that's a reasonable. I think that. Is that still gives us leeway, but it tells what, yeah. what the general. Yeah, what the general. Okay. We'll add that in there. What would say to us? More terrible. Yeah. Um, just the person. Okay. Either way. Um, Bruce, are you comfortable with that? Yeah. Formal legal opinion on the recording of board meetings. Uh, is, is this necessary? Um. Uh, well, we have we had a couple incidents regarding a commissioner recording a meeting. And in retrospect, I, think, I don't think we handled it correctly. The question should have been, is it in order or out of order for a commissioner to record the meeting? That should have been just a ruling from the board chair, um, and then the issue would be done. But since they are recorded now, isn't it a moot point? Unless a, next time a commissioner decides to record a meeting, just oh, you're, you're talking about an individual. Yeah, yeah. Yes. that's yes. Out of we had on side or off side. We had off side. Okay. Well, 
well, there was on-site and off-site incidents. There were two. The first one that I recorded, and then the one I recorded Does, any, land. does yeah. anybody have an issue if Matt the records a, a meeting with yeah. his own right. personal yeah. device? And, and the M MRSC uh, backs us. So on. it should just, we just need a ruling from the chair. You say, we would do Robert's Rules of Order, either it's in order or it's out of order. But a legal opinion is something different than a ruling. Well, I would suggest the chair has confidence they're making a legally sound ruling because I think there's legal consequences if you rule incorrectly. Well, we looked at this and there's no, you can't stop anybody from, Matt, or a commissioner as a member of the public can record in a public meeting. But the commissioner also is a public official participating in an open public meeting, and that recording uh, it is, uh, yeah, part, needs to become part of the open public record. So and that means it has to be archived under certain regulations and accessible. Yeah, so the mechanics of that, the council just basically says, if you can avoid all of that, you should. So if you, you know, that's why you record your own, on your own equipment, and, um, but I think the question comes up, but our policy says just regular meetings, mm -hmm. it doesn't say special meetings. So when we're in Chelan having a meeting, when we don't have all that apparatus there, uh, what happens if a commissioner wants to record the meeting? Or if we have a special meeting with a legislator. Yeah. And so you're saying that if, Jill, if the I'm chair saying, says that you're out of order, I'm saying, <laughs> yeah, we're, we go. Commissioner would be cool with that. No, no, I'm saying, I'm saying, thing. You just then you stand by, then things would happen. What does that mean? I mean, if it's just like if there was someone in the audience and the chair said you're out of order for recording the meeting, then, but then, no. then you have to decide. They're not. They're, they okay, have well, the legal right to do that. I agree. So it is a commissioner. You do have yeah. a legal so, right. But so you can tell me if you have a problem with it. If any board member has a problem with something someone else is doing in the meeting, they can say, I think that's out of order. And the chair gets to rule. Is it out of order or not? And then if you say it's out of order, then the board member so can either obey the order or not. Why would you want to go through all that when you know the reason? Why would you want to have the board chair say that when you understand? Well, I would suggest that Because I wouldn't turn off the recorder. The board ruled out of order. So he just wants to get it on recording. Because so I think if something's out of order, you have the right to remove the person from the room. I mean, if someone is violating the rules of a meeting in a private property, and they're out of order, you can kick them out. So my suggestion to the board chair is don't rule that it's out of order. I would say, say well, don't, I, don't go there. That would, that would create a, a situation. And, and if an individual chooses to record the, uh, the, the meeting, then effort should be made to turn it into a public archive. Right? Then you would have to, would you have to then submit your recording to us? I mean, don't so have to. Yeah, you would. I mean, but you I, mean, would. I would. Because it would be, a, a, or, 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 official or put the organization in jeopardy, legal jeopardy. And I mean, that, that is, that is the, the, the craziness of this. And, I, and frankly, I don't know why we need to revisit this. Mm -hmm. And at a time when we're talking about eliminating dysfunction from, from governance, that this is, yeah, you have the right. You do. But it, but it creates um, complications for the, the organization you are, you are s s sworn to abide and comply with. So I don't get this, Matt, but, but, I, but you're right. No one can stop you if, if, that's, if that's what you, and I don't really know where you're going with this. You want us to try to stop you? I think he does. Is that what you're suggesting? For no. what purpose other than... I'm pointing out we handled those situations incorrectly. It should have been said. Jesus. How many years ago was this? This is mute. We've had it's not, meetings. I mean, it is. one of us could want to record a meeting. I just want to avoid 
this an but explosive you know, you, conflict? You're if, it up. No, it, it is. It, it's it's um, we, it's not it's not about the recording. It, it's it's about the, uh, the 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 whole point of this. I think this um, this session, and it, that is that is that is something that um, uh, I'm uh, I don't. I've said what I needed to say about it. So I think um, if if a member of this public body should choose to record something, you have an obligation to try to get it to be part of the public record, or the organization is at risk because there was a member of the organization who recorded something and is not making it available to the public. Because if there is a recording made, it needs to be made available to the public. Would you agree? If it's yeah, made? that would be, of course. I mean, that's the, that's the, that's the, and that's what was done in each of the prior uh, recordings that were given to the hospital. Okay, good. So we're good. So did you make copies of them? Mm -hmm. So that would be held, I think, why? for six or seven years. Why, why would you make a copy of a meeting with, that's being recorded? He, no, he recorded it himself. He did. Right. And then, and he, then he made a copy and he gave it to... Yeah, but I think, and this is where John would be helpful, because I think if he has a copy that's of this other public meeting, even though he made it available, then that still is open to public scrutiny access. And if you do it on your phone, then your phone is open to public access and everything on your phone now becomes what? open. What? So everything on his phone is open to public? If he made the recording on his phone, and there's a public record request for his, his phone. His recording. It's just a legal phone. can of worms that can easily be avoided. And um, I mean that's that's the Brett technical version of this. Because and, there's and already it's, just, it's my mind boggling that you, yeah. you would choose not to I so. I believe what we say in these meetings is important. The meetings that I recorded, you were we were not recording them. So, so now it was we the are. only way, and there were very huge conflicts during those meetings over that issue. So I just think we should clarify if it, the situation ever happens again, let's not have that happen. Let's know what is going to happen. Let's, it's either in order or it's out of order. But, yeah. but you also, if I may say so, said earlier on that you, whether it was in order or out of order, you were going to ignore the order. Right, because it's in so order. It is in order. You cannot tell someone to turn something <laughs> off. You're, you're playing uh, so, semantic games. So could I ask a question, Matt? So what, what would you recommend be written in here to clarify that going forward? I just recommend that this board knows what it's going to do if the situation happens again, because it's not, we made a mistake. It, we, we might have violated a statute. Uh, the Open Public Meetings Act by trying to tell someone to turn off a recorder. That I think that might have been a statute violation, and we shouldn't do that. We should okay. know. Yeah. Okay, we don't like it if someone's recording, but we can't. We shouldn't like harass them about it. It's just like it's either in order or out of order. But, but you could have taken a copy of the of the recording. Yeah. So 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 here here's the issue is, um, and that, and this whole thing was instigated by showing up at a meeting and turning your recorder. What old thing? Whether we record the meetings or not, because we weren't, we didn't audio record them before that, mm -hmm. and so we called council and said, "What do we do here?" It wasn't really the will, of the, the interest of the board to audio tape meetings. We, we, that that, that was not the, the norm with the work that we did when we contacted other public hospital districts. But you said, "I'm going to record them anyway," and. Um, so, and forced our hand. Uh, so then we put a policy together that said we would record um, and with legal counsel's advice, here's how you do that so you can make sure that that uh, audio record is, uh, can, doesn't face the scrutiny of, of some members of our community who 
from time to time look at the meta, it, it, yeah, the question of uh, Alyssa about the authenticity of the recordings. Mm -hmm. um, and, and here's the process, here's the mechanics, here's the machinery. Uh, and we'll do that for regular meetings, knowing that when three commissioners are meeting in a legislator's office, that's a special meeting. Um, and, and now we just do that. Um, uh, what you're talking about is when we have special meetings. And sometimes those special meetings include other representatives of boards that don't audio record their meetings. Um, uh, and sometimes those special meetings are, you know, in, in places where uh, may or may not be um, uh, conducive to recording. Um, uh, and, and I think you're, and you're, you're asking us to react to that when uh, well, certainly it's my preference that uh, we follow the policy um, uh, which records regular meetings, we don't, we don't, and then therefore commissioners don't record on their own special meetings, and we just avoid all of this. I think the, the question, or the, uh, the, the why of the road, we, when you do this, and I think this is actually what happened, is that we just decided not to meet, that your commissioner colleagues were so uncomfortable with that. And it probably had less to do with the issue and more to do with maybe other stuff around the issue that we just, well, we won't need that. And that just seems silly to me. I, I don't see how, do you want to, I would not take a position that wields power if there's people are not accountable for what they say in the room. And I do not feel, um, you know, we talk about trust. You know, you know what increases trust is having an account of what people said because if you can't, if we have so much trouble trusting each other on a basic level, I think we trust each other to like remember accurately a three-hour conversation. Um, it's insane. It's like it's completely absurd that this board could function without an accurate record of what we say. I mean, I realized that after two months on the board. Um, all I care about is that we have efficient meetings. When we talk about something, and we agree to it at the next meeting. We remember we agreed to it, and we don't have to revisit the issue. I mean, that's all a recording does for you. I don't know why we don't record offsite um, meetings, uh, except for the ones that other people would want to, you know, if it prevents us from meeting with legislators, that's totally fine. They're not going to. And that's why, that's why I never insisted that we record everything, because then we wouldn't be able to serve our community, we wouldn't be able to meet with some people. And that's the case with the, when we when we were meeting with with other organizations that don't record theirs and are not comfortable with that. It's yeah. the same and thing. I never I never insisted we record those. Some so, people might, but so I think we should um, move on from this issue. I, I don't think uh, I think it's the general opinion that there isn't a need for a formal legal opinion. And as your governance consultant, my recommendation is don't rule that out of order if it should come up.